Hi, my name is Holly Wiesner Oliveri, and my crew and I are dedicated to highlighting businesses, people, and homes within the North Shore community. Welcome to North Shore Buzz. Are you in the market for buying a home? Are you a first time home buyer? Building your home buying team should include a professional home inspector. Today, I'm meeting with Mike Mazzolo of Home Pro Inspections, and he Hello. just so happened to be walking in the door. Mike, how can we tell if a home is 110 or 220 electric? Okay. The overhead wire is coming in. You'll see there's three wires going in at the top of the mast. Those three wires indicate you have 220. If you have an underground service entrance where the pipe's coming in from the ground up, you go by the meter. The three wire is meaning that there's three wires. Two hots in the ground equals 220. And 2W would be? Two wire. One hot, one ground. And that would be 110. Correct. Right. And commercial would be? Three phase, four wires. So Mike, let me ask you, what is going on up here with this exposed uh, PVC pipes? Let's see. So you've got brick there. There's wood in between, wood framing. Right. But a lot of these old houses also used brick as insulation. Now, if you look at this cavity over here, you'll see that this is what they did here to conceal the, the pipes going up to the second floor and the BX cables. What should we well, be looking we for to make sure We want to look at the condition of it, okay. exactly. In between the joints, as you can see, is eroded. So it needs to be repointed to support it? Right. Yeah, it would give it more stability, you know, strengthen it just to maintain the integrity of the foundation. The selection panel box is not new. It's in good condition. But you have two open slots here, as you can you see that? Anytime you approach a paddle box, especially for the first time, use the back of your hand first. Don't just walk over to a paddle box and say, does it have 100 amps? Yeah, it does. Don't take for granted in somebody else's house. So if you wanted to do any work on this house, say maybe add an addition or such, um, would that be able to support it once it's repointed? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is plenty strong, probably more stronger than houses today with an eight inch board foundation. Mm -hmm. you look at the width of the space between the beams. It's like 24, what is it, 24? 22 inches, 24 inches, 25, it's gonna vary. The old timers, they just put them in place as they went along, you know, wherever they felt like it being, it was. So if you weren't too sure of the age of your home, this would be a few signs that you should this look This would be at a good way of, of roughly guesstimating it, because okay. that's what we really can do is guesstimate it, because right. there was no paperwork from those days, right. exactly. you know. People build a house and this is my house and that's it, you know. This is your water main coming in and out of the floor, as you can see. All right. And notice the ground to the electric, see the wire there with the thing, that's yeah. perfect. It should be as close to the beginning of the of the water main as possible. As you can see, we got brass here. Was that? And then copper here. Mm -hmm. And then upstairs, I saw a mixture of copper and brass. So when was copper used? What year was that being used? Well, copper's been, uh, I think it was approved around 1979, give okay. or take. That before that, 78, 77, 76, all brass in the houses. Any houses built like 77 so and back to that is would be all brass. Now, if you go to a house this old, you're gonna find mixed galvanized brass you know it, you know they weren't too stringent back then so we determined that the that the, the galvanized because it um, deteriorates on the inside it corrodes okay. as it corrodes the hole shrinks so it reduces the water pressure after 20 30 40 50 years maybe more you'll have a drip coming out instead of a good flow of water whereas brass and copper don't do that okay. they last forever that's why the Statue of Liberty is made out of copper. 